You know, there's a secret in your birthday to courage, and courage leads to love. Are you ready to find out the truth? I have the answer. You too can find the truth if you dare. All that and more at secretsofbirthdays.com. Hello, my captains. Welcome to Thursday. Well, cloudy, self-reflective. The captains are a little spacey today. The moon has progressed into Virgo, which is an earth sign just like you. For the next 48 hours or so, your emotions are really reflecting on your life. So your emotions are a reflection of your life. Now, your emotions are a reflection of your life all the time, frankly. But in this particular time, as the moon emotion energy enters into the belief structure consciousness, you take notice in this transit of certain trends. You take notice, hey, you know, I've been kind of depressed for two weeks. It usually happens when the moon goes into what we call the ninth house. You start to realize, start to come to conclusions. Whoa, I get it. This is also a time where you might want to take a little vacation. You might want to put your nose in a book. You might want to escape from your life. And what you're doing is you're just reflecting and learning. Uh, and this happens once a month, every month, in your case, when the moon is in Virgo. Zip into the sun. It's also a day of creation today, Captain. The sun is in chapter three of Sun in Aries, and Venus is ruling the day. Venus, the creation vibration, is here to help you create your nest. That's what Capricorns are doing. They are pouring the foundation for a fantastic spiritual nest. A spiritual nest includes your home, your family, your self-nurturing ritual, uh, all of your pampering tools, all of your products, and basically the way you talk to yourself, the way you nurture yourself. So today, we want to take those first steps of creating the perfect nest. And we're going to continue in this journey as we move through Chapter 3. And it's Thursday. I've got Sadiqa Salter's Renegade Aromatherapist live for you today. She's talking about spring cleansing. I'm not talking about spring cleaning your home. I'm talking about spring cleansing your vessel, your temple, your body, using the minerals and plant kingdom power. She's going to tell you how to do it today. You might want to hop on it. She's live everywhere. Our garden is blooming. All right, my captain, that wraps up today. But I'm back tomorrow with your weekend forecast. Live, love, be. So